everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be going over how to use our new mini quick culture jar kit, which can be found on our website under the liquid culture drop down. This kit includes three 30 milliliter liquid culture jars. A 20 milliliter syringe or CC syringe, a 16 gauge needle and some alcohol swabs. This kit is ideal for people to be able to germinate their spores uh, in a small batch to be able to detect if there's any sort of contamination either within the spore syringe or if uh, poor sterile technique was done. Uh, because it's such a small jar, you're able to easily identify any mold growing inside the jar, either it by itself or if it's growing with the mycelium. Once you have established your healthy mycelium colony, there are a couple different routes that you can go from here. You can either take your healthy uh, colony and further extend it into a larger liquid culture jar, which will give you 10 times the amount of mycelium if you're doing a very large grow, or you can just directly take the mycelium and inject it into the growing medium of your choice. What's nice about these jars is that you only need two cc's of spore solution to even start. Uh, from the data that we've gathered in our research and development, we determined that you get about 30 cc's of usable mycelium in just one of these mini jars alone. So it all depends on how big of a grow you are planning on doing. Let's get started on how to use the kit. First, you're going to grab your spore syringe of choice, which comes with its own separate needle. You're going to shake up your spore syringe vigorously for 30 to 60 seconds. This, By doing this, you're going to decrease the amount of clumps that have occurred with the spores, um, allowing for a more even distribution in each jar. Uncap this, and you're going to Put the needle on your spore syringe. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take the caps off of each jar. These do not need to be put back on. It is just for shipping purposes to help keep everything sealed and sterile until they get to you. The very top of the jar has a a resealable port just like on a spawn bag so you can inject into it and it will not uh, let contamination back into it once you take it remove the needle from the spore so you then want to clean each top with the alcohol swab and then remove the cap to the needle for your spore syringe. And like I said, it's only two cc's of spore solution per jar. Sometimes clumps happen even after you shake it. Right. Just depress the spore syringe into the solution, take it out. And just do the same thing for each jar. And put the cap back on the needle. Since the jars are so small, we are not able to include a stir rod in them. So what you do once you've injected your spores into them, just kind of swirl them around a little bit. And you're going to do that every single day for the first five to six days. Um, and you also want to make sure they're in a temperature range between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You should see a nice colony start forming around the five to six day mark. I have actually an example of a contaminated jar with me here. As you can see, the jar is cloudy. You do not see any floating pieces of mycelium in it at all. Um, this is actually a bacteria that has contaminated the uh, liquid culture jar. I do also have a small jar that is about at day seven. You can see the small colonies of mycelium ready to be used. So from here we will 
draw it out in, with our 20cc syringe and we will um, demonstrate how to transfer it into the liquid culture jar or a spawn bag. Now I'm going to show you how to draw out the solution from your mini culture jar. First you're going to take your 20cc syringe that was included in the kit and you're going to attach the 16 gauge needle. And then I'm going to take an alcohol swab and clean the top of the jar off. And then you're ready to insert the needle into the jar. I do want to say what's really important to know about these jars is because there is a certain amount of pressure in here when they were sterilized, it's really important when you're drawing out the solution to also draw out a little bit of air. Uh, that way, when you completely pull the needle out of the jar, you will not get sprayed with your liquid culture solution because that's not fun. Happened, not fun. Draw out maybe about five cc's of solution. I'm going to pull the needle back so I'm in the air. Just draw a little bit of air out. So I'm going to stop pulling the plunger and I'm going to take it completely out of the bottle. It is really important though that you do not continue to draw air into the syringe after it's out of the jar, otherwise, you will be then taking the room air into your sterile liquid culture, which would then obviously introduce contamination to either your grow medium or your liquid culture kit. So once you have your liquid culture solution in the syringe, you can then inject it into a liquid culture kit or inoculate your spawn bag. The final thing I'd like to touch base on is the storage of the liquid culture jars uh, once the mycelium has been germinated. So these are not meant to be used as long-term storage. Typically your liquid culture uh, in the mini jar can last anywhere between three to four weeks and you would store them in the fridge. After that, the mycelium just doesn't have enough nutrients from the liquid culture to continue to survive. So at that point, you would either need to use it in a grow medium or transfer it to a larger liquid culture kit. Um, but other than that, that is how you use our new mini culture kits. And as always, we are happy to answer any questions or concerns that you might have along the way. You can, of course, reach us at our 800 number, 800-921-4717, or please feel free to email us at support at midwestgrowkits.com. We are here for all of your growing needs. Thank you so much.